We were almost out of Washington when I saw this guy from Fort Lewis. Well, that's what his t-shirt had on it. Let's see what he's up to. That was pretty cool to see and worth the stop. Now let's visit Idaho. We will start in kindergarten where many of us learn this song. I'm thinking that most of you have heard a version of this song of some sort while growing up. Today we are going to look at Idaho, Thailand, and potatoes. As a 100% American, I have a confession to make. I know that there are big and small potatoes. Some are red and some are white. But to me, they all taste the same. This is a photo from the 1920s showing potatoes being harvested somewhere in Idaho. Now let's review some potato history. The South Americans have been eating potatoes for centuries. In the 1500s, our forefathers across the pond discovered this plant and began to grow it. Not for eating, but for the flowers it produced. How times have changed. Nowadays, most people don't even know what a potato flower looks like. Growing up in rural Missouri, we planted Idaho potatoes every spring. Well, that is what we called them, although the official name was the Russet Burbank potato. An American scientist, Luther Burbank, perfected growing taters after the Irish famine, and eventually the state of Idaho became known for growing the best potatoes. Now pay attention. Frozen potatoes come to Thailand mainly through a company in the Netherlands. Personally, I would have chosen a different company name other than Farm Frites. Anyway, most of the French fries eaten here are russet potatoes grown in China, shipped to Malaysia, and finally distributed in Thailand. So technically, I have been eating and enjoying Idaho potatoes since my arrival here in the land of smiles. Most of the potatoes grown here come from farms in northern Thailand. It is common to see vendors alongside the road selling their wares and sweet potatoes is often on the grill. They taste exactly like American sweet potatoes and I'm not a fan of either. As many of you know, we make pizzas on the weekends. Naturally, all of our workers are 100% Thai, and surprisingly, there are even Thai people working in pizza joints in Idaho. Feel free to stop by and enjoy a slice from either there or here. Here's the Idaho Army National Guard in Thailand, Saraburi Province in 2018. Been there, done that, and bought the t-shirt. And trust me, it's not as much fun nor as exciting as it looks. Idaho has one of the highest gun ownership rates out of the 50 states. Thailand also has one of the highest gun ownership rates in this neck of the world, but not nearly as many shootings as America has. However, and unfortunately, these types of crime are on the rise. What used to puzzle me living out here in the country were the occasional explosions that I heard. At first, I thought it was just another holiday celebration or Thai guys drinking rice, whiskey, and setting off firecrackers. Come to find out, my thinking wasn't even in the ballpark. Thailand does have some loud firecrackers, but many are not for fun. Instead, they are used to try and scare the birds out of the rice fields. Here we have golden french fries. Right, Jow? Potatoes from Idaho. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in Nevada.